Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a change management tracker in Google Sheets. This is a ready to use change management tracker. You can easily track the change request of your process using this tracker. This is the dashboard view of this tracker wherein we are showing the total change request. We have 500 requests. This is the change request by the priority in this pie chart, change request by the impact. And here we have the change request by the status, change request by the requested month. And here we are showing the change type breakdown, which is the change request by the types. Now I will show you the data also in the data sheet. We have the change request data wherein we have the change ID here then change description this is the change type requested by impact status priority and then we have the requested date approval date and this is the implemented date and then we are showing here the responsible person comments and this is the requested month which is a formula which we have put here text function using the column match which is requested date okay now I will show you step by step how we have created this and how you can create this in your Google Sheets. So let's start without delay. Let me copy this data and I will add a new spreadsheet. So just go to the file and new and just click on the spreadsheet. Just paste that data as value here. Shift Ctrl and V. We will quickly format this. So just go to the border and take here some color. Let's say I'm taking this blue color outline. Take thin outline all borders align this center and middle and take the font size around 8 now just select the header of this and let's fill some dark color so you can choose any color from here so let's say I'm taking this color and take font and make this bold okay now you can create the drop downs here so you can just select a column and right click and you can make the drop down or to make it quick just click anywhere in this range and we can see one option here that is convert to drop down chips as you click automatically it will convert to the drop down chips okay so all important part is converted but for the change id we don't need this so what we can do then it will open the window for the data validation okay so you can remove the rule from here as well as you can see in this list rule available on column a just this one just delete this from here okay so this is done now this is the data sheet and we will create the dashboard or tracker sheet also this is data and let's add one dashboard sheet let's go to the view and so uncheck the grid lines from here now first thing we will create like here we have created this save this is the save which we have taken from the powerpoint or you can take from the google slides so we have taken the PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. So what I have done, I have just opened a PowerPoint slide here. And here we have created this rectangle and this another rectangle. So let me show you how we have created this. Let's add a new slide here. And on this slide, you can simply go to the insert shapes and let's take this rectangle, which is rounded corner and drag that rectangle here. Pick this yellow handle, move to the left hand side like this. Go to the save fill and just say no fill for the shape outline you can choose this color we have taken a color that is dark teal you can just go to the more outline color and from here you can choose any color like this one or this one okay so we, we have already taken this color so let's take this one and then you can insert another rectangle but this time we will take this rectangle and just drag that here Pick this yellow handle, move to the left hand side slightly and just place this here. For the below one also, just change the radius slightly like this. Okay. And then you can fill the same teal color. Shape outline, you can take the same teal color. And again, go to the safe fill, then go to the gradient, scroll it down and let's take this gradient which is linear up. So that is how we have created this rectangle. Now coming to this one this is the simple rectangle and let me come here and let's insert a normal rectangle this one like this pick the yellow handle and reduce the radius then shape fill as white fill then go to the shape effect shadow and let's take this shadow okay 
shape outline you can choose this one so that is how we have created this if you want to reduce the outline bit you can simply go to the shape outline bit and let's take this one okay so similar to this we have created this other one okay once you have created these two rectangle let me delete this this is not required because we have already created this one here and then you have to make the group of this select this and this then you can right click and make them group okay we have already created group so it is not appearing all right now let's come to that google sheet so first what i will do i'll just copy this copy this control c come to the google sheet and we have created new tab this one a new sheet and just paste that here now let's place this and make it slightly bigger now select the background cells and you can fill some light color let's say i'm taking this color or you can choose any other color whatever you okay you can use the more color also from here make it slightly lighter all right you can take this color or any other color. okay so we have taken this color here now we have our frame ready so we will put here title so let's go to the insert and then go to the drawing and here we will insert our text box this one and drag the text box here here you can put change request management trigger in google sheets so let's select this and you can increase the font size if you want align this center from here and middle reduce the size slightly and then select and take the font color white and you can make it bold also okay once it is done then just save this so this is appearing here if it is not visible because we have taken the font as white then you can select all sheet and then here you can see it is visible just select this and just put this here okay now this is done and we will copy the another shape from the powerpoint so we have the powerpoint here this one and let's copy this and then again go to the google sheets and let's paste that sheet here just place this here and make this a smaller so here we will start eating our chart like we have created three charts here so you can just change the size and make the copy of this just copy and paste the another one and then we have slightly bigger here you can increase the size here also then copy this and paste again increase the size here now at bottom we have two charts okay so just copy this and paste here copy and paste so create another shape and let us put this here reduce the size slightly all right here we will create our this type of card which we have created so what we will do we will reduce the size of this skip this here and this one also let's skip this here all right so now let's let me adjust all the shapes first okay so everything is done now here we will start creating the card so what we will do first we will remove this shape from here and just select this range first this one and just use merge cells and let us fill here some dark color just this type of teal color okay and just select this range till here and use merge cells and let's fill some other color here just add a little lighter let's say i'm taking this color okay and here we will just increase the font size font take white color and take here area rounded this is the change request count change request and let's align this center and middle increase the font size area rounded and the font color white and here we will show the change request count so we will use the count a function and we will take the count a from the data sheet let's take the count of the change id till the end and just hit the enter so we are getting here 500 let's align this center and middle and increase the font size around 60 okay so we can see this now we can move this shape again here and let's put this in the center all right so we will start our charts now so the first chart we will create change request by priority let's go to the data and select the priority column here then go to the insert and insert chart so by default it has taken a pie chart 
and here you can see everything is appearing properly use uh, row one as header so now we will change the chart title just double click and change this this is change request by priority and just align this center take color black and size around 14 now let's go to the legend and move the legend at bottom we will change the color as per our theme so let's take this color here darker and also add the data levels here from this value so this darker is for the high and for medium you can take different color let's say this one and for low we can take this color you can go to the chart style and make this 3d let's make the chart slightly smaller just copy this chart from here come to the dashboard and you can paste that chart here Control b now move this chart here and just place this here like this double click on the chart and from the customize you can take the chart style background color as none and the chart border as none for the chart title you can make this bold Control v just double click and make this bold now copy this chart and paste here and we will change this chart and this time we will take a different chart so we have taken uh, another chart here that is change request by impact so just double click here and we will change the range with the impact so come to the data sheet impact is on column e select this one click on ok we can change the chart type we can take the donut here or you can go to the customize in the pie chart take here size donut hole size 50 percent okay so this is also done just change the chart title as change request by impact the third chart we will create that is change request by status so just make the copy of this and paste here and just place this chart here just double click change the chart type as column chart and we will change the date range with the status so just delete this come to the data status is column f click on ok so this is change request by status and you can remove this legion from here just say none you can remove this one also just delete and you can change the color also if you want so select double click just go to the series and take here some different color let's say this one if you want to make this 3d you can make it 3d also and just add the data label from the series here you can add the data labels. okay so this chart is done now just make the copy of this and paste the chart here here we will create the month wise line chart so just select this and make this slightly bigger just double click and take here months so just delete this we can take the requested month that is available in the last column m just select click on ok just change the chart type as line and then go to the customize here in the series you can change the color if you want that's why i'm taking a little darker point size take 7px and go to the chart style and make this a smooth line this is change request by month now we can make the copy of this and just paste that here and put this on the shape and here we will create change type breakdown so just double click and change here with the change type delete this let's take the change type here that is column c and we can change the chart type chart type also you can take here column chart and if you want to make this 3d you can make this 3d also all right this is change request by change time all right friends so that is how we have created this dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching